All right, let's do a review of the Outdoor Master inflatable pump here. Now, I've been using this thing for a little while to inflate my boat. Real nice unit here. Uh, comes with multiple different pieces, so you can hook up any type of inflatable to it. Inflatable boards, inflatable kayaks, boat, so on and so forth. It has an inflation and deflation section there, so you can pull in air, suck air out. We're going to be using that with the Newport Vessels battery box. Real good, reliable battery box I've been using. has USB ports on it, and it's got the 12 volt on the side. So we're just going to plug that in there. Of course, you could plug that into your car. And a real nice thing here is it's got adjustable PSI. And with an inflatable boat, if you inflate one side too much, it can start veering off to the right or left. So it's really, really nice to be able to get the exact inflation. Super easy to be able to plug the thing in. Uh, no hassling with the hose or anything like that. Just goes right in there. And we're going to do this in real time so you guys can see this get filled up. This is 7 PSI on the floor here. And then we're going to move on to both of the other chambers at 12 PSI. And we're going to do the front just so you can get a full real time idea of how long it would take to inflate the boat. Now, if you're thinking about getting a smaller, inexpensive motor, I can definitely warn you that it's probably not going to cut it. Um, I tried two, one under uh, $20 that absolutely didn't do anything, and that's meant for just basic inflatables. You're really going to need a powerful pump to get this thing filled up. Now again here, we're going to do the side in real time. And I'm just going to kind of phase out here for a moment, talk about boats. Uh, really enjoy using the inflatable boat here. Kind of use it more than the inflatable kayaks. If you're definitely a fisher person, you want to try fishing, or if you want to entertain people on the boat, or if you just maybe get cramped from time to time, like to spend long hours out on the lake, uh, the really nice thing about the boat is you just have so many different places that you can you can sit on the side, you can put seats up and down it, you can just kind of like lay down in it. Really super comfortable and just really nice to be able to spend the whole day out on the lake not having to be stuck in one position. Not saying kayaks aren't awesome, it's just it's a different experience. And if you're a fishing person, man, you just have so much more space on these boats. It's just really, really nice. And so we just flip the cord here over to the other side, get it going. Trying to do this in mostly real time. Maybe it would take you a minute extra from a little bit of the shots that I've edited out. Now, if you definitely have a smaller uh, boat like a kayak, we're going to fill up just the side of a kayak at the end of the video here. Uh, it would inflate much, much faster than this. Of course, why wouldn't it? It's so small. Anyways, the Newport Vessels has uh, done a really good job. have no complaints. I've had this thing out over 20 times now. have over 100 miles on my motor. Just a solid tank. I even left this thing inflated for two weeks on my deck. Didn't lose any air whatsoever. A real solid brand. Rugged too. I'm going to tap on that some more. You can hear the firmness of it when I hit it. I mean, it's pumped. It is, it is full. And then you'll notice the machine makes a different noise when it gets full. So after you program in, let's say, 10 PSI, when it hits 10 PSI, you're going to hear the machine start making a different noise, and that prevents any overinflation. It's really, 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 really important to have your inflatable boat inflated symmetrically, or asymmetrically would it be. If you have just even a few PSI off on one side, you'll notice that your boat will just, its, it's control will, will change a little bit, and it will start veering off to that side. And you will even notice that you'll go faster if you're using a motor like I do. Uh, having all your valves perfect, you'll just have a 
a way straighter line that you'll be able to produce. I've said that three different ways, but I'm trying to find something to say here while we're inflating the boat. Anyways, really like this thing. And I'm just going to show you, uh, after this fills up, just the side of a kayak getting filled up so you can see that it will inflate your kayak no problem. Your you can for inflate probably like three paddle boards on this thing before it needs to cool off for just a second, like 10 minutes or something like that, maybe even less. Now, it is an expensive unit, but you guys have no idea how hard it is to blow up something uh, that's that big. So it does require a really powerful motor. And this thing has seen the job through. I definitely recommend it. No complaints. And as you can see, it's doing just fine. Of course it would with the kayak. It goes up real fast. If you had a one person, man, it would go up like that. Anyways, guys, Outdoor Master. Check them out in the description below. Highly recommend this. Be safe out there boating. Watch out for other people. And I'll see you soon on another video.